Hi, Hi from Jim here. Welcome to another episode of Adventures in Stoving. I've got a little weird test set up here. Uh, I've got two stoves. On the right is a Jetboil Sole. On the left is an MSR Wind Boiler. I want to see which one handles uh, cold better. It's uh, approximately 40 degrees right now. Uh, over, light, and low is below 32. Uh, there's ice on a little pond, or excuse me, a little puddle over to my left. Uh, these canisters contain 100% butane, uh, not isobutane, just regular butane. And uh, they're sitting directly on stone flagging, and they're going to be cold. So with uh, butane uh, in uh, low temperatures on cold stone, uh, you're going to get the lousiest performance that you can imagine. So I'm just trying to see uh, what kind of performance I'm going to get and if there's any difference in the performance between the two stoves. Now, I'm noticing the jet ball is still on. I'm running these right now, but it's very low. I'm noticing that the wind boiler, if you can hear the pitch, the pitch is changing, the pitch is falling as the wind boiler is uh, getting as the fuel gets colder, as you run a stove, the fuel gets colder. As the pressure is dropping, I can hear the pitch of the wind boiler dropping as well. Uh, the jet ball is still staying on. Wind, boil, wind boiler is out. Uh, so I've, this is the second test I've run, and I've noticed that both times the jet boil has stayed lit, whereas the wind boiler has gone out uh, due to lack of pressure. So I'm gonna have to say now this is not a definitive test. I mean, obviously. Uh, I mean, am I able to boil water with the jet boil? Not quite, but it's not going out. I mean, it's a really, really weak flame. I, I don't know if you can see it. Let me, uh, I'm going to turn the camera a little bit. Pardon me, it's on a tripod that's not got a swivel. There we can see the flame. The flame's very low, but it is staying on. Uh, so uh, the jet boil will stay on in lower pressures than the... Uh, wind boiler is on, will stay on, but uh, it's going to take a really long time to boil water with that. Now I can see that the water in my pot, I've got 500 milliliters of water in both, uh, the water in my pot and the jet boil is steaming, So and the, the, in the wind boiler's defense it is steaming also, so I don't know that this is a definitive test, but the jet boil will stay on lower. You could now take that water, that hot water, and if you had a bowl or something, you could put the canister in the bowl of hot water, and then you'd suddenly get uh, better uh, pressure. So uh, I'm going to have to call it for jet boil, but it's not a really, you know, like an out and out win where the jet boil was just amazing or something like that. The jet boil, if you can look at the flame, it's just a little yellow kind of candle flame. It's barely flickering. Uh, I'm in conditions where uh, you're just not going to get much canister pressure, but I do notice that the wind boiler goes out with low canister pressure, whereas the jet boil stays at least lit, and you can at least get a little bit of hot water, and in those conditions you could then take the hot water and put the canister in the hot water and heat the canister and continue to cook. Okay, I'm Hike and Jim. This has been another episode of Adventures in Stoving. Thank you for joining me.